Good evening, everybody. Hello. And um, of course, good evening. President of One Singapore, Nicole Ng. Co-founder, the man, Michael Switer. The intrepid executive committee whom I worked with for so many years. And every single one of you, good evening. Thank you for being here and thank you for having me. And um, I just let you know about the people that put this night together and worked so hard for One Singapore. I've had the honor of working with the committee for many years and I have an immense sense of respect for their commitments, their professionalism, their humility, and their passion for helping others. Michael, co-founder of One Singapore, his clear dedication to the cause, it runs incredibly deep and has a faith that is indelible. No matter what happens, he is there, he's got all the facts and information. He's like an encyclopedia of what's going on. He constantly keeps himself updated of what, what's going on in the world. Nicole, president of One Singapore, whose professionalism was tested to the limit when three years ago, while heavily pregnant and not feeling well at all, held her sophistication and class in the face of a very unreasonable hmm, entity, let's call this particular person, for a particular event, I would have not been that sophisticated and calm in the face of such a person. So kudos to you, Nicole. The executive committee that I have personally worked with during my tenure as president, Michelle, Joe, who happens to be the Elvis in the room at the moment, yeah, uh, <laughs> here you go, Cynthia, Claudia, Zubi, Suchi, and many others, and now the current committee, I cannot express how in awe I am of all of you for your dedication, and it just continues undiminished all these years, so you guys are amazing. When I was first asked to join One Singapore, I realized that it was a perfect fit for me. I always felt that I needed to save the world, be a Bruce Willis or something, and, and help everyone do something, but I always felt very helpless. I am just one person. And there were so many causes, you know, diseases, efforts, essentials. I just couldn't help everyone. But with One Singapore, their alignment with their very important and relevant UN goals aligned with what I needed to do, which is to help as many people as possible through very clearly defined goals. And I like that One Singapore does two very important things. They spread awareness and they take action. One feeds the other. And that cycle is never ending. And when you spread awareness, you help others take action. And when you take action, you naturally spread awareness. And I always found it hard to tie myself down to that one particular cause and instead try to help whoever and whenever I can. So the thought in my mind was I always felt you don't have to have suffered from that particular issue to be empathetic enough to help. But now I see both sides of the coin. Many individuals, as well as families of those who have suffered, now they've gone on to create foundations and organizations that help that particular cause that their loved ones have gone through. Like, for example, Mr. Tae Chun Hai, whose grandson and granddaughter, I can say now, are here. Thank you so much for being here. He donated $5 million to the NKF when he suffered kidney failure himself. And that dialysis center, till today, still helps many patients endure the pain of dialysis. Or, like Malala, who got shot in the head by the Taliban for the crime of being a girl who wanted an education. She has gone on to be a symbol and a beacon of strength for women around the world to fight for women's rights. And for others, it's pure empathy that translates into helping others. And funny enough, it was Mr. Tay who had felt the pain, who didn't need to just rely on empathy, but he knew a lot more when he said, you come into this world empty-handed, you leave empty-handed. And it made me think, it just, it just struck me. In that one statement, he made me realize two things. One, he had come from nothing, absolutely at nothing. And that no matter how much you amass, you can't take it with you. 
But what you leave behind, that will speak volumes of your legacy. So we may not have been shot in the head. We may not have suffered, and hopefully we will never get shot in the head. Let's bless ourselves. Okay? But you and I have the resources in one way or another to help, to harness whatever we have around us. If you're a mother, if you're an engineer, if you are an excellent business person, or a social media king or queen, if you know how to ride a bicycle, anything is everything if you just make that connection. And awareness is the key. If you understand the problem, and you see how you can help. And when you spread that idea, and you switch on that light in other people's minds to say, hey, yeah, I can help, hang on. That's when you've already begun that first step to creating something meaningful. And one Singapore works hard to be that connector, to bring awareness to groups and NGOs that don't have the media popularity to help themselves. Through their panel discussions, through their film series, they help people see what mainstream media may never cover. The heroes, the victims, the help that's needed. Through One Singapore's events, they communicate the ways that people need help and connect them to those who do need help and those who can help. Now, the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, that were launched in September this year, this year uh, there, are, there are 17 goals that form the global effort to clean up the planet that world leaders have committed to achieving by the year 2030. And together with this launch, some good news, there were declarations made by many countries. For example, the Jordanian government, they have committed to close the gender equality gap by 2030, through a variety of actions. I wish they could do it sooner, but you know. Uh, this is including intensifying efforts to align national legislation with the kingdom's international and regional commitments. China, they've also done their bit. They've pledged, pledged billions in development to the world's poorest nations. They even said they'll, they'll clear the debt. And even Facebook announced plans to bring the internet to UN refugee camps. Now, all these things are a glimmer of hope, perhaps, in the multitude of problems that we have yet to understand and solve. And one Singapore, they've sharpened their focus to 10 areas that help it make, make it easier for us to say that, yes, we can help. And I hope that we keep the momentum going. We can be the watchdog. We can rely on each other, on one Singapore, and on ourselves to take respons responsibility and react from within that framework of goals that these countries have committed to achieving. So bookmark it. Go to the website. Bookmark it. Put it in your calendar. Make it part of your business practice. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. The wheel is already there. One Singapore also does a great action by aligning you with the goal that you want to work towards and recommends projects where you can make a difference. And in fact, through the UN's SDG platform, there are 10 representatives, 10 representatives from civil society, the private sector, and the scientific community will be appointed every two years to be part of the follow-up to ensure that the major stakeholders are on track with the SDGs. They can talk all they want, but we've got to make sure that they do it. Now, that could be you or someone that you know. Ending extreme poverty, as the SDG platform has expressed, is the greatest global challenge. Political, big industrial reform, that's what's needed. All this has been promised, and we must hold them to it. It won't be an easy task because the world still, of course, revolves around economy. But think about it. This generation technically has the technology to feed every single person on this planet. So let's work with them. Help them help us and be the sustainable population that creates sustainable, fair growth. And we can do that, like I said, as a business person, as a political pundit, as a housewife, as a social media guru, and as you. It's been too many decades where we keep saying we need to leave behind a better world for our children. Well, I say we are the children and it's time that we take action, yes? Yes! Yes! <laughs> so let's put cynicism aside and so we can finally make those pictures of that starving little child 
an absolute thing of the past. And I thank One Singapore and you for being a part of this journey to make poverty history. Thank you very much. Thank you.